Hello and welcome to Nicolas Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about dot matrix, how to recognize mutation and deletion sites and in my three previous video I already explained what uh, picture A, B, E and F means on our dot matrix and today I'm going to explain what these two pictures means when we see them on uh, dot matrix when we plot two DNA strands to polypeptide chains or to RNA strands. So as you see uh, here on the picture we see uh, gap as in picture H and uh, gap uh, number two also would be similar to this picture and uh, what we see in the gap three this is similar to picture G. So when we plot two sequences uh, and uh, we see that this is highly uh, similar or highly homologous sequences, but what does this uh, gaps means? Imagine that we have two polypeptides and a sequence of one polypeptide would be A, B, C, D, E. And the second would be A, B, C, F, W, X, and then D and E. So let's build a matrix and we'll see what we are going to get. And if you already notice it, these two sequences are similar, but sequence on the x-axis has insertion of three peptides. And uh, those peptides that we don't uh, see uh, on this sequence, so insertion would be between uh, protein C and D, so over here. So let's see how this would affect our dot matrix. So let's put rows here and columns. And ideal picture would be when we would have a direct line from this corner to this corner. So let's see what we are going to get now. So here in the first cell we have A here and A on the other strand, so we put a dot here and we put a dot also here and we have C and C on both strands here. Now row D and we have D here, so we put a dot here and row E and column E we put dot here. As you see this is exactly what we have in our example one. So uh, that means that this uh, strand of the DNA or RNA would be shorter than this fragment and we also can say uh, whether this fragment has uh, insertion or this fragment that we compare on the y-axis has a deletion and as you see we have here perfect match, horizontal match, so if we shift this line over here we would get a perfect uh, straight line. Now let me clean a space. Now let's talk about example 2. On one strand uh, we would have uh, proteins as follows A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. And on the other strand we would have A, B, C and F, G, H. And as you see this time we have a deletion on this strand here and we have a deletion of this sequence that that is present on the other strand. This is D and E. So let's build a matrix 
and we'll see what we would see this time. In order to save a time, let me stop video here, finish this matrix and once again let's plot our dots. So we would have A here and dot for B here, dot for C here and next we would have F here, G and H. So as you see, this time we have uh, deletion on the other strand and our straight line sh shifted vertically. So uh, once again that means that uh, this strand may have uh, insertion or another variant would be that this is normal strand but this strand would have a deletion. So now we already talk about uh, this situation and this situation and now let's talk about example 3 when we have a perfect straight line with a gap in the middle. Once again let me clean the space. Imagine that this time uh, our proteins would be as follows A, B, C, D, E, F and G and other strand would be A, B, C, W, X and then F and G. Once again let me speed up and build matrix. As you probably notice it, here we have uh, much of all letters except uh, X and W on this trend and uh, D and E on this trend. So let's see uh, what we are going to get if we'll build a dot matrix. So perfect match here, here and in this cell and next two cells we don't have a match and we have match F and G. So as you see we have a um, perfect line and we have a gap in the middle because here we don't have no insertion or deletion but here we have mutation. We don't know on the which strand if we would say that this is original sequence then we can say that these two residues are mutated. And the more mutated residues we would have here the more the gap would be between the lines. And single point mutation of one residue would produce very small gap. The line would be perfectly straight. And on this line, as you see, probably thousands of residues are compared. So this gap probably can be tens of uh, nucleotides or residues of uh, polypeptide or message RNA. Now I hope uh, such picture as this one wouldn't be difficult for you to understand and interpret. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.